the, shall we say, intimate little theatre, the uh, audience were as close as the monitors there. <clears throat> it was a bit disconcerting because a woman in the front row read a book all the way through my set. I don't mind knitters, they're usually in time, but... She's not so much read it consistently as referred to it regularly. And I saw her at the break, up at the back, and uh, said, that's a very interesting book you've got. She said, I always take a Scottish diction to your gigs, Archie. <laughs> so I'm going to endeavour not to be too dialectic tonight. There's probably only one word in this one that you might not know. A read, it's the Scottish word for warn. Little shape-changing ballad from the north. I read you beware of the hunting young man I read you beware of the hunting young man But the Lord of the May has sorrow For I have darted away with the fairies was tame I read you beware of the hunting young man I read you beware of the hunting young man here to bring him some cheer, the Lord of the Mate of the Hunting as dear. I read ye beware of the hunting young man, I read ye beware of the hunting young man. But he drew not his bow at a deer or a roe, but a bonny white bird that sat on a stair. Read ye beware of the hunting young man, read ye beware of the hunting young man. For his arrow he shot, but it harmed or not, for it died in the heart of his daughter Elaine. And read ye beware of the hunting young man, read ye beware of the hunting young man. The Lord of the May has sorrow for I has darted away with the fairies was tame. Read ye beware of the hunting young man, I read ye beware of the hunting young man. For the Lord of the May has sorrow for I have darted away with the 